guys so I'm actually back for a new tutorial and this tutorial is going to be how I do my false lashes um, I've already done a tutorial on this in my old channel but because I've kind of updated the way I do my eyelashes and I still I'm still getting a lot of requests for it and plus I think I actually deleted it off my old channel I'm not too sure but anyhow so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so to apply your eyelashes, I actually use two methods. Um, one is just to use the full strip eyelashes, which just look like that. And these are my long me lashes I've talked about on my blog before. And I've used them before, that's why they kind of look a bit um, used. <laughs> And the other method is to use another full set of lashes but to actually cut them into little little bits and I'll be showing you these two methods um, as we go along. So the first one I'm going to be using is the long me lashes. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, my voice I kind of just woke up. So anyway, um, first thing you want to do is line your waterline so I'm just going to go and do that. And then I'm just going to be using a liquid liner and just um, lining my upper lashes. So I'm just going to be using my L'Oreal Lin Linear Intense Liner. I like to wing it out a little bit, just like that, so that it kind of lengthens my eye. And then I'm going to be taking my pair of false lashes and when you're using false lashes there are always two and you would always want to use the one with um, the shorter ends on the inside. See how that just has the shorter ones on the inside? You always want to pick this one up rather than this one where it has the longer ones on the inside and that should go for your other eye. This one. So I'm just going to be taking the shorter one this one right here and I'm going to be putting some glue on it. I'm using the um, waterproof lash grip eyelash adhesive in dark tone. What I like to do when I'm applying eyelashes especially when I'm in a hurry I kind of just like to put it on the back of my hand or anywhere really so I kind of just put a little blob on the back of my hand and then I use the tip of this um, eyelash glue just like here and I just swipe it on the band of my eyelash. This way it kind of the glue doesn't go everywhere and it looks a lot better. Okay once I've done that I'm going to take a pair of tweezers and these are just any regular tweezers and um, I'm going to take my eyelashes with my tweezers just like that and then I'm going to glue it on. What I like to do is I don't like to glue it right in the inner corner because I think that makes my eye look a little bit smaller so I kind of glue it a little bit out. You just want to stick it on the eyeliner rather than your um, eyelashes so that way it makes it a lot easier to remove later on. Okay, and after I've done that I kind of use my fingers to push in the eyelashes so that I make sure that every bit is stuck on. Okay, and that's your eyelashes done. Okay, so I'm just going to move on to this eye over here. Um, what I like to do... Oops, sorry, I'm just adjusting my mirror. What I like to do is um, line my waterline as well. Okay, now for this next eye, I'm actually going to be using two pairs of eyelashes. Um, the first pair I'm going to be taking, these are both handmade eyelashes by the way. So they're very, very soft. The first pair look like this. And the second pair is just a little bit longer. Okay, so what I like to do is um, cut them into little bits. And so for this pair, I'm probably going to cut it into threes. And for this pair, I'm going to cut it into fours. Okay, and then now using my previous method, apply um, your glue onto your eyelashes. And your eyelash pieces should just look really small, just like that. 
And what I do is I actually apply it on the top of the band rather than on the bottom. Okay, and then starting on the outer corner, just apply these eyelashes just on your waterline. See how kind of natural that looks? So I'm just going to continue on and do all of my other eyelashes. Um, you don't have to use all of them. I just cut a lot just in case I needed them or wanted to use them. And by mixing and matching um, between these different types of eyelashes, you're going to find that it looks more natural. Okay, so this is the final look of this eye. And this is the one that I actually stuck in, um, not individually, but in pieces. Okay, so you can see that for this eye, it kind of looks a lot more natural, a lot more piecier, and it actually looks like you've got eyelash extensions on, or even, um, I think it looks more like you've got mascara on. And you can build it up, like if you want to put layers of different eyelashes on you can. I just didn't do it because of time purposes and because I think this is fine anyway. <clears throat> and if you want longer lashes you can always go with those. Just looks like that. And the other eye just looks like that. So with this eye you'll find that it's a lot more simple. You've only got one land bash. It looks a lot more natural. Whereas this one is a lot thicker. Um, a little bit more time consuming. But I think it's also worth it. So if I just look up for you guys, you guys can tell that it's really, really natural. This one. Okay?